Hi guys, in this video I'm going to edit this uh, winter scene photograph I took a while ago. Uh, this is in Lightroom 4. Um, I'm going to do a black and white with this one because I don't think I've done a full black and white video before. Um, and I'll show you a few different ways of getting a decent black and white image. Okay, so there's many ways in Lightroom to do black and white. You can see we can click on black and white there and that desaturates the image. But it's very flat and not particularly exciting. You can of course still play around with all the exposure and all the other settings but at the end of the day it's still just desaturated and it looks a bit boring really. You can lower the blacks to give it a bit more contrast and a bit less contrast and you can fiddle about with the contrast slider as well. But there's much better ways in Lightroom to make a good black and white than with all these sliders here. Down here we've got the tone curve and this is a really good way to start a black and white image. Again we've got to click on black and white for our starting point but then using these sliders we can adjust all the different highlights and the lights and the darks. What I'm looking for is to get a nice shallow S shape on that line on the graph and you can see by dragging all the sliders you can change the shape of that line. So just keep playing around with it until you get something that looks good and you'll see that usually the best image usually has a very shallow S on that graph. So I'm quite happy with that and you can see there we've got a nice shallow S. You can just see there at the end. Another way of doing black and whites in Lightroom is if you come down to the uh, HSL color black and white slider and you've got all these different things here which actually say colors. Now you'd think that in a black and white you don't have any colors but that's not actually the case. All colors have different tones and you can see as I change these color sliders it's actually changing uh, the image quite significantly. Now using these sliders you can really make your black and white images come alive and sort of pop and give them a real good kick at the backside. So I'm just playing around with all these different sliders just to see what they do and to see whereabouts I want them. You see that some of the sliders don't have much effect, they're only tiny parts of the image and other sliders like the red and the orange and the yellow will have a massive impact on the image. Back in the days of film, uh, when you shot with a film, you'd actually use different colour uh, filters over your lenses to get this same sort of effect. Once you're happy with the black and white sliders, you can then adjust everything else. I'm going to do a bit of dodging and burning on this image. So go up to the adjustment brush and burn and I'm going to burn all this pathway in. You can see that it gets darker. And if you want to see exactly what you're doing, click on the show selected mask and that will come up red uh, just to show you where you're painting. So I'm just going to paint over all this area where the pathway is just to make it a bit darker and to make it stand out a bit more. Once you're happy with what you've done, you can get rid of that mask overlay. And then you can fiddle around with all these sliders here as well, add some clarity add a bit of contrast and just play around with the exposure a little bit I think that's okay actually you can just see it's giving it a bit more of a gritty edge on that pathway now this man in the picture is a little bit dark so I'm actually going to go back up to the adjustment brush and this time click on dodge lighten and I'm just going to very roughly paint over him it doesn't have to be all that neat just to um, make him stand out a little bit more that's probably good enough to be honest. Just make sure I filled them all in. And zoom out again. That's made him stand out a little bit more. He was a bit dark in the frame there. Okay, so now I'm reasonably happy with that image. And I'm just going to have a quick play around with the normal basic sliders just to see if I can make it any better. Let's play around with the highlights a bit. And add, or add a bit of exposure too much. I want this image to be bright but dark at the same time if that makes any sense. I want it to be gritty black and white um, but I don't want it to be too dark. I think a vignette would actually look quite good on this. So we're going to come down to effects and uh, you can see there we can add a vignette either white or black. I don't want too much just a little bit in the corners just to just to draw your eye in a bit you can see we've got several different options here as well. We've got highlight, colour and paint overlay. You can just play around with them, see what looks best. That's, I think I prefer the highlight priority actually. 
don't want too much again just a tiny bit just to add a bit more drama I think that's probably good enough now I'm going to come into the detail uh, tab and I'm going to try and get rid of some of the noise if you zoom in on the man you can see his jacket's quite noisy and um, this was shot at ISO 1600 so I'm just going to use the luminance slider and the contrast slider just to uh, make it a bit less noisy and I also want to do some sharpening if you hold down the alt key and uh, move the masking slider you can actually see what areas of the image are going to be uh, sharpened. I don't want the whole thing to be sharpened, just the kind of prominent edges about there. And just add a little bit of sharpening just to make the image pop out a little bit more. And I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks quite good. Um, you can add any lens corrections if you've used like a wide angle lens or whatever if you need to. I think this looks okay as it is. And I think I'm quite happy with that. You can see there I've adjusted all those sliders in the black and white mix to make this black and white a lot more interesting and really stand out much better than a normal desaturated black and white okay that's it guys I know this was just a really quick run through but I just wanted to show you how to play around with some of the other black and white uh, things on Lightroom uh, if you have any questions just leave them in the box below and I'd really appreciate it if you could also like and subscribe this video don't forget you can win a copy of Adobe Lightroom 4 just watch my Xmas giveaway video just click the on-screen video now